Hello viewers in today's video we are going to learn about parts of endotracheal tube which is an infraglottic airway device as endotracheal tubes have two ends the distal end or the patient end and proximal end or the machine end and is a curved device which is placed through mouth or nostril and is used for intubation Endotracheal tubes are mainly made of polyvinyl chloride and may be cuffed or uncuffed as these modern day endotracheal tubes are disposable and transparent therefore the secretions and clots and mist can be easily visualized through it so here you can see the radio opaque marker which is used to check the position of endotracheal tube within the trachea after intubation by means of x-ray PVC type endotracheal tubes contain an additional hole near the tip called as Murphy eye so if the main lumen gets blocked patient can still be ventilated through this Murphy eye this is the connector through which you can connect endotracheal tube to patient circuit now while deciding the size of endotracheal tube as the size of endotracheal tube varies from 2 mm to 10 mm id id here refers to the internal diameter for normal healthy male we usually use 8.5 size endotracheal tube and for a normal healthy female 7.5 size endotracheal tube is used for calculating the size of endotracheal tube in children formula is provided in the description of this video this patient end is beveled at 45 degree in oral tubes and at 30 degree in nasal tubes now while deciding the length of endotracheal tube Optimal length is the length at which air entry is equal to both sides of the chest which is 23 cm in adult males and 21 cm in adult females for a general concept the tip of the endotracheal tube should lie 4 to 5 cm above the carina now again to calculate endotracheal tube length in children i have provided the formula in the description of this video this part at the proximal end of the endotracheal tube is called pilot balloon it has one way valve inside it which opens when you press it with a syringe this way you can inflate the cuff with the required amount of air this valve is closed when you release it so the cuff remains inflated usually 4 to 8 ml of air is required to fill the cuff during the cuff inflation we always need to ensure the cuff pressure to be less than 30 cm of water to prevent the tracheal ischemia which can be caused due to high pressure inside the cuff and to deflate the cuff during the extubation process you just need to press the valve of this pilot balloon with the empty syringe and aspirate the air bag 